college will lead to rear, it's the same follow-ups. Make sense? Mm -hmm. the jab cross, same way I split here, again, I go lead to rear. That's all the, that's all the rear thing, right? If I go split, I go lead to rear, I use my leading now. Okay? I go split, one, two. Okay? Lead to rear, I use my leading now. Okay? So, what a lot of people miss is the hand and the knee are connected. This goes back to our boxing mechanics, okay? Which, by the way, goes back to our knife mechanics. Which, by the way, goes back to our stick mechanics. Which why we study it all. Why I study it all, okay? When I use these elbows and I go to the knee, I'm turned like a cross. So I use this elbow. If, the, if I'm going to use the um, rear knee, I use the rear hand to pull me in. It's hard if I cross myself. My rear hand, rear knee. Make sense? Okay. Lead hand, like I'm throwing a jab. Bang, or excuse me, bang, bang, bang. Right? Elbow, elbow. Grab the hair. Okay. That little part, just understanding how to transfer from the elbows to the hands, that's huge. And it seems like such a small thing, but if you don't understand that fine detail of rear hand equals rear knee, lead hand equals lead knee. I've seen guys that will just, just be like, whew, this doesn't feel right. Uh -huh. And then it just nothing connects for them, you know. Lead hand, lead knee, rear hand, rear knee. Okay? So you can mix it in any order you want. You can have all the time. You can go lead to rear to lead knee. Or lead to rear to rear knee. You can also go Rear to lead to lead me, or rear to lead to rear. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can mix it up however you want. <laughs> That's the idea. There's no real rules. Go ahead, train. Yeah.